Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's lesson on how to use Google Forms to create a presentation. Uh, actually, this will be Google Slides, not Google Forms. Uh, in the past, we've used PowerPoint, but because the Chromebooks do not have PowerPoint, uh, we're going to be using Google Slides instead. So, if you go to your Apps tab, all of your apps should show up like you see here, and you will click on Google Slides. And the very first thing you're going to want to do is choose a template. You can't tell that I've made a few of these before, can you? Um, for my classes, I use Google Slides every single day. And the nice thing is those are all permanently saved uh, in your drive until you decide to make them go away, which uh, works well. So the first thing you will see is a template gallery. And basically, in this case, you're going to choose what you want your presentation to look like visually. Uh, and you, they give you some generic names here. Uh, once you choose your template, however, you can then uh, modify it any way you want. Uh, I'm going to try the student certificate template. Um, and let's just go ahead and see if uh, it gives me different layout options. It totally does. So I'm going to go ahead and go with this one um, because I like the way it looks. Um, so you are going to be creating a PowerPoint or a Google Slides presentation that represents your life. And in my case, I'm just going to go ahead and make one for my class. So I teach Social Studies 8 and computer literacy. So, and I am Mr. Blumendahl. So, um, and I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to go up here to where this is how you can indent. Uh, if you wanted the lines to align to the left, you would go to this and you go left. All of a sudden the lines are on the left and I'm just going to put a big Welcome to my classroom at Waldo Middle School. Exclamation point. And because that is less than one full line, I'm going to go ahead and go back up there to where it says a line and go to this one, which means the center. And also notice on a line, my line spacing, I can go to here which just put that in the middle from top to bottom or vertically. If I wanted to put it at the bottom vertically, I'd do that. I'm going to put it back at the middle vertically. So it looks like that. Welcome to my classroom at Walden Middle School. And down here, why don't I just put the school's address? Because I can. You don't have to do this. Um, this. Your PowerPoint is going to be about you, who you are, what you bring to the table. Okay. So, I am going to go ahead now and insert a new slide. And I would like this slide to have a different format. So, uh, I'm going to go to my layouts here and choose a layout that might be agreeable for what I'm wanting to do. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Um, it's going to give me two forms of content and a title. And say I don't like the background, I can change it. If I want to make it lighter, I can go to something lighter. And if I choose that, it only applies to that one so slide, but if I want it to apply to all the slides, I would go add to theme. In this case, I only want it to apply to one slide, um, so we're going to leave it at that. So, I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, about me or who am I. You can call it about me, not amount, about. Or if you want to get fancy, you can say my deets. Anything that says gives an indication that this slide is going to be about you. If you don't like having white as your background, you can go up here 
and this t these are your text colors. There's an awkward color that makes no sense, so we're going to skip that. I, I could go dark like that. In this case, I think white is actually more what I'm looking for, so I'm going to keep that. But I do want it to be centered and maybe underlined. So if I click U here, magically it's underlined. If I click I here, magically it is italicized. Now if I click B here, magically it is bold. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to center it. Amazing. So the next thing I want to do is enter a picture of myself. Uh, so I don't necessarily want this box here, so I'm gonna, when I get all four arrows there like that, I can click delete and the box will disappear. I'm going to go up here to insert image. Okay, uh, I'm going to do this image by URL because I just happen to know where a picture of me exists. And hopefully you don't use this information against me, but I have my own website and I just happen to know where a picture of me exists. So as if by magic that picture is going to show up here. Let's make sure I spelled everything. Oh, dot com. I own my own domain. So there you go. There's my picture. I just happened to know where it was. And that picture is now magically in my presentation. Okay. Uh, so if you can find the URL for your picture, you don't actually need a copy of it on your desktop, which is helpful because um, you don't have a desktop. You're using a Chromebook, and therefore that will become problematic for you. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and enter some details about me and my presence here at Walden Middle School. I have been working at Waldo since. November 2004. In that time, I have taught 6th, 7th, and 8th grade social studies. I now teach computer literacy. I have been in charge of the Waldo website since 2006. Um, I have a wife, three step kids, and a son named Charlie. Three, I should spell three correctly. And I should probably give them names, because they have names. Johnny, Emma, and Miriam. There we go. I could give their ages too. So that's enough information about me. So if I want it to fill the space, I can go up here. My font size is currently 17. I can blow that up to 24. That's just about right. I'm actually going to highlight this and enter 22 myself. Boom, it shrank, but I want it to be bold. It's now bold. I want it to be italicized. It's now italicized, and I don't want it to be Roboto. I want it to be Cambria. I like Cambria better. In this case, I'm going to make this Cambria as well, and I'm going to blow it up to 40. I want it 40. 42. Boom. It's 42 now. So, and then I want this to be bullet pointed. This has no bullet points, so I'm going to go up here. This represents a numbered list, and here you can choose your bullet points. And look at the different options you have for the bullet points. I'm going to go with these lovely arrows. So now I've created arrow bullet points. Now, say when I'm presenting this, I want these to show up one by one. How would I do that? I would highlight each bullet point and I would go to doo, 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 doo. now this is one of those things where I'm not quite sure how to do it on Google Slides so you're gonna see me messing around with it in real time uh, and I don't actually see where that is so that's a question I am going to answer for you later uh, the transition here does represent how it transitions between slides. 
So for example, slide from the left, that now means that uh, it will all the slides will slide from the left as I play the slideshow um, throughout. Uh, I do need to figure out how to do individual bullet points, so I will teach you that in class when I figure it out. Because I am used to using PowerPoint, I'm just going to be straight up about that. I'm now going to undo, insert another new slide, slide, new slide. Perfect. And it now is back to that navy blue background. Say I want to shift that up and go to this lovely shade of forest green. Uh, done. That now applies to this slide and this slide only. And it is defaulting to the format I used on the previous slide. Um, so if I want to change my layout, I can do... Um, let's go ahead and go with this one to change um, my layout. And I'm going to call this one Awesome Video, because I can. And if I want to shrink the box, I can do that. Notice I pull on the corners of the box. I can move the entire box up here. Um, and I'm going to move this up here, shrink the box, because I like to make educational you tube not tib videos there you go because I like to make educational YouTube videos um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, find a link to a picture of YouTube here so I'm gonna go ahead and enter YouTube into Google it's going to pull up all of this. I'm going to go to more because I want an image. There we go. All I need to do is find the address of one of these images and preferably a smaller one. Um, this one looks like to be the right size for me or maybe I want to go with that one. Or what, what's going to go best on my background is the question. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this one just for the sake of argument. And it says copy image address. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to my presentation. I'm going to go insert image by URL. And I'm going to go right here. And there it is. I don't need a copy of that image. I just need the image address. And it will magically show up. And I can stretch it to fill as much space as I need. Look at that. So here, I'm going to get rid of this, delete it, and I'm going to go insert video. Okay. So here I need to find a URL for the video. It just so happens that I post all kinds of YouTube lessons because you're watching one right now. All those children's shows you see there are because I've got Charlie at home. So I'm going to go to my channel. I'm going to go to our computer lit class. And I'm going to pull up the video that I made for using PowerPoint, which I used first semester. Point. And I'm going to copy the link. Control C for copy. And I'm going to go ahead and paste it right here. And boom, there is my YouTube video. And if I want to create a blurb to describe what the video is about, I can go insert text box. See, I'll target where I want to put the text box. And I will go, this video shows how to use PowerPoint instead of, and I'm going to shrink the box. Actually, I want the box to go down here. Highlight Google Slides. It is from the first semester. And obviously, that's black. It's hard to read, so I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to change the color of the font right here. We're going to go to this lovely light shade of blue to contrast with the background. We're going to make it bold. 
and we're going to increase the font size until it is, that's way too big. Well, no, that's just about right. Let's go italic with that. And we can even stretch the box out to fit the text. And we can move this up like that. Stretch it so it fits the dynamics just perfectly. And there we go. Okay, so I've now created three slides. I've shown you how to insert a picture. I've shown you how to insert a video. And we've done that using URL links. So the other thing you can do is save a picture to your URL, you, to your Google Drive. So let's create one more slide here. Slide, new slide, and again, it defaults to the last type of slide we used. So I'm going to choose a different layout. Um, we'll just use a blank one for this one. This is a blank one, and I'm just going to insert a picture here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is create that picture. So I'm going to get off my YouTube page here and I am going to enter Waldo Middle School. And I'm going to look for images. Okay, there's more than one Waldo Middle School in the, the world, believe it or not. So I can choose from any of these images. You know, the funny thing is I know who some of these students are. That's pretty funny right there. Uh, there's an old picture of Miss Nelson. There's all kinds of crazy pictures here. You guys are probably getting a kick out of seeing all this. You've maybe never thought of Googling your own school before. Um, so what do I want to go with? I'm going to go up with one of the originals. And it just so happens that uh, there's a picture almost looks like me. Um, this right here is a picture that I took myself actually of our school right when the parking lot got redone back in 2010 so notice how clean the blacktop is and I'm gonna go ahead and save this picture to my Google Drive so it says you have two choices save the link to Google Drive or save the image to Google Drive I am going to save the image to my Google Drive okay notice it's doing that up here so and I'm going to, I could rename it if I wanted to. Um, so say I want to, I want to rename it to picture one, just because I can. So I've now given that file a name, and that's helpful. I'm now back in my PowerPoint, and I'm going to go insert image from Google Drive. And guess what? Look right there. That's where picture one is. You do not need to have a desktop to save it to you. You just save it to your drive, insert it, and as if by magic, there it is. It's Walnut Middle School, and you can stretch the corners to make it as big or as small as you want. And you can even insert a text box at the bottom so you can give it a title. And I'm going to give it a title, Waldo Middle School and home of the Mustangs. And first of all, that needs to be centered. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to center it. And the second thing is I want these letters to be actually readable. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to change the color of the letters. So I made that a light blue color. I'm going to go up here and make this white. And then I also want to differentiate their size. So I'm going to make this at least like 20 something. There we go. And I'm going to make this, that, that's good where it is. And it's looking like this is not totally centered. So I'm going to move it back and forth. See that red line there where that pops up? That tells you that it's centered. So I have now centered it. So, I believe I've shown you some of the basic skills that you're going to need to know uh, to do this, but let's see how my presentation works, because the best way to know if you've done something right is to test it. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to click on my first slide, I'm going to go over here to where it says present, and we're going to see how this works. Oh, look how lovely that is. Look how lovely that is. Whoops, it went backwards on me. Okay. Remember when we did that slide transition thing? That's what you just saw. 
I could press the play arrow down here, or if you just click on the desktop at any point, it will automatically move the presentation forward. So I just clicked, my presentation is moved forward. Here is my About Me slide. And you watched me put that together, so you don't need to see that again. Then I'm going to click again on the desktop. Now, I, I did not get a transition there, so when you do your transitions, you need to make sure you click Apply to All Slides. Now, here's the key. We want to see if the video actually plays here. So I'm going to click on the arrow and see if it actually works. Blank, where you can do anything with it content with a caption or picture with a caption. So there's all different kinds of layouts that you can use. We're going to start with Skip ahead a bit. Um, I would yeah. like skipped ahead a picture. Right. Clearly the video still works. That is an example of the video I made for the first semester when we were actually using PowerPoint. So, um, And then let's go to the third slide. And there's my picture of Waldo Middle School. And that, remember, I copied from my Google Drive. So uh, hopefully what you've learned in this video will help you with the basics of what you need to do to accomplish this assignment. Uh, if not, you can ask me personally. But this video is kind of there as a tutorial to help you uh, in case you need to know the basics of Google Slides. And if you're in Mr. Randall's class, I, I hope you've enjoyed hearing the Mr. Blumendahl version of events. I like to think I'm a little bit less monotone than your teacher although slightly less bald. And we've been friends for a long time, so he'll let me get away with that. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, everyone loves it when I say, this is Mr. Blumendahl. Wait for it. Wait for it. Signing off until the next amazing video lesson in computer literacy class. Hasta la bye-bye.